It's approaching midday in the heart of the Pilbara and these trucks would normally be parking up for lunch. That's if these trucks had drivers. Take a closer look, there's no one behind the wheel. Welcome to Yandakajina Mine, where robotic trucks rule the pits. What we've done is map out our entire mines and put that into a system. Um, and the system then works out um, how to manoeuvre the trucks through the mine. It's one of two Pilbara mines where Rio now remote controls its entire truck fleet, largely from an operations centre in Perth. And while it's a ticket to safer mining, it's also lowering costs. It does take away a lot of those, I guess, dangerous, monotonous type of roles that we, we had in the past, but it's definitely a saving. I mean, the roles are gone, the roles are gone down. Um, so there is, there is a reduction in roles associated with autonomous haulage in the operator space, but as I said, you get some back in. Certainly the benefit of technology is a one-to-many relationship so that you can really just have one individual or one full-time equivalent doing the job of many people. The Rio's plans don't stop here. It's also trialling unmanned trains and mining with robot drills, with the aim of rolling the machines out across its entire operations. Eventually, most of the supply chain from the pit to the port will be completely remote controlled, largely from an operation centre in Perth, 1,200 kilometres away. Rio isn't alone. Rivals BHP Billiton and Fortescue Metals Group is hot on its heels. Both are trialling similar machines at their Pilbara mines. And these are one of the things which they need to do in order to stay profitable through the entire cycle. And while trade jobs will reduce, it's a shift academics in the computing world see as an opportunity. You still need people in there to monitor where they go, to you know, tell them where they should be going, what they should be doing. Rio is now running 69 driverless trucks across three mines and plans to switch its trains into fully autonomous mode by the middle of next year. Catherine Dis, ABC News.